Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a skincare review. Real quick, if you're new, I upload every Tuesdays and Fridays at the very least. I do fashion and beauty as well as project panning. So if you're into that type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. All right, so let's just get into this skincare product. Um, this company reached out to me and they sent me this for free in exchange for just like a post, which I usually do anyways. I mean, as far as like, um, I try to do like reviews and stuff on my um, Instagram. So, I mean, even if they sent it and were just like, hey, we just want to send you this, I still would have put a review. So I was just like, okay, whatever. Um, and that was it. So it is called Smack Me. Okay, let me show you guys the box, which you already see from the thumbnail. It's a weird name, right? Smack Me. This is not going to be a bashing video. Um, it's just going to be my unpopular opinion on this product. I have combination oily skin and it is cystic acne prone. Um, I've struggled with acne since like uh, high school and after I had Savannah, my skin just went crazy. And so I've been looking for anything and everything to get rid of my acne. It's still not completely gone. However, right now my skin looks really good. Like I am wearing foundation. But um, my skin looks really good without makeup, which I probably should not have worn makeup in this video. Um, but um, it's just been a while because of this skincare line. Like it really... <sighs> Hold on. Let's just get into what the claims are on this product. It is a benzoyl peroxide based product. Or actually two of their um, products. Okay, so they gave me... They sent me three full-size products um you know bottles like this so this one is the let me see which one did i use first this one is the exfoliating aloe cleanser and this has one percent salicylic acid um but it is a uh, aha hasa complex so it's just a bunch of acids in here um a lot of this is supposed to be hyaluronic based or hyaluronic acid based so that way it hydrates your skin and not it doesn't just like dry it completely out. Um, they sent this, or it also came with the acne treatment, which is 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. They also have aloe in them, which is another hydrating property or ingredient. This one is the severe acne treatment. This one I did not use because I wanted to see how just the regular treatment worked. So I didn't want to go in like full force and like possibly... Uh, ruin my skin, which <laughs> I already gave you the spoiler alert, I think. I don't know. Anyways, well, okay, so on there, let's see what this card says. Uh, 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 uh. The card that came with it is just instructions. So I really didn't use the skincare line for a really long time. I probably used it for about a week and that was it. But um, I really didn't look too much into it because I was just like, I'm so done with this. So on their website, it says, cleanse your bacteria. Our scientifically formulated cream uses benzoyl peroxide, tea tree oil, and aloe vera to cleanse bad bacteria and remove toxins. Exfoliate your pores. Smacne also exfoliates your skin using glycolic and salicylic acid, unclogging your pores and fading away scars. Hydrate your skin. We hydrate your skin, making it look healthier and more vibrant. Repairing skin damage. Repairing skin damage using hyaluronic acid and jojoba oil. And so, yeah, it says three easy steps that will cure your skin guaranteed. Well, also, it says 91% of people using Smackney's acne fighting formula would recommend it to a family member or a friend. Um, it says it has key ingredients, best scientifically, or the best scientifically proven ingredients, um, you know, in these products. It says it's doctor approved. Countless scientists and doctors have given us a seal of approval that this is an acne curing miracle. It says it's 100% effective. We know how tough it is to have acne, so we don't play around. Our natural serum is guaranteed to cure your acne. Okay, well, what had happened was I'm going to insert pictures. My regular skincare routine consisted of using salicylic acid, um, uh, using uh, like facial oils and using like AHA serum so my skin can actually take a lot and when I was reading that this was kind of more benzoyl peroxide based I was kind of like ah, because personally my skin doesn't work well with benzoyl peroxide like it just 
I never saw that it got rid of my acne. So um, I was like, you know what? It's been a while since I used benzoyl peroxide, so I'm going to give it another shot. So that's why I said yes. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it, right? So then um, I started using it, and maybe about three days in, I... I ignored the symptoms, but my face started getting really itchy, and I was just like, uh, you know, maybe it's just my skin really, really dried out, so I was using a lot of oil, like a lot of facial oil, and um, these were the only two products that I was using, so I was just using the exfoliating at, uh, aloe cleanser and the acne treatment only, and then the facial oil that I was using is from... Oh my gosh, uh, Teamy Blends, which is a chamomile oil, which is supposed to calm the skin. So I was just using those three products. And um, and I don't know what it was, but then the fourth day, my eyes started turning red and it was itching. And it was getting to the point where like my skin, I don't know, it just started feeling really, really itchy, like all along right here. And then like, I think like the fifth day or something, I started getting like um, little bumps right here. I was getting bumps like everywhere, like along my hairline right here, um, like really bad. I'm gonna try to insert pictures. I tried to get like the best pictures I could. Um, I don't know if I got any on my lip, or I took pictures of my lip, but I know that I started getting like little bumps right here. And um, I don't know what it was. Like I'm just kind of, I'm kind of disappointed because I had high hopes because this skincare line has really rave reviews. Like it's supposed to be so good. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I finally found the cure-all for my acne, but it just did the complete opposite. It was just I wasn't necessarily getting more breakouts, but it was like an allergic reaction to the point where I was having to take Benadryl, okay? And I was on the verge of having a panic attack because I started feeling like really tingly right here and tingly like everywhere where I was having like this reaction or whatever it was. It was feeling very tingly and I almost panicked. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out and I didn't want to go into a panic attack because those aren't fun. So, um... I just kind of stopped. I was like, you know what? I'm done with the skincare line. And um, so the only thing I've been using to kind of cure what this product did to my skin is I was using a bunch of like hydrating sheet masks. I was only using my uh, African black soap to cleanse my skin. And I wasn't wearing any makeup at all for the past like two weeks. Um, and what else? And I was using, again, that Teeny Blends Chamomile Facial Oil. I was using a lot of that because it dried out my eyelids. It dried out, like, right here. Um, once I started, like, healing, it was, like, all around, like, it, I don't know. It was just weird. It was all just right here. Like, it wasn't anywhere else, but it was just right here where it, um, where I had my reaction and, of course, my lip. But everywhere where I had that reaction, it, like, dried out. So... Um, I had a bunch of like, I think I tried wearing makeup and you can tell it was like cracked and everything all along here and along here. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is not a bashing video. I'm just really disappointed and sad that this product didn't work for my skin. And I just wanted to put my video out there just in case like somebody out there had a bad experience, but they don't want to come out and say it, um, just because this product was sent to me for free. And I mean, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinions about it, even though like, like, if it was sent for free or not, I give you guys my opinions, my honest opinions. I finally got my skin back. I'm currently using only, let me see, uh, two products right now. Um, I just started introducing an eye cream, or my usual eye cream, but I'm still using my African Black Soap. I'm using a gentle physical exfoliator and um, my eye cream, and then I guess the facial oil. So usually I would use like acids and um, uh, toners with acids in them. Like I was using a lot of stuff. So I think this made me realize that less skincare is more because ever since I stopped using this and then only using like products, like I could count on my hands how many products I'm using versus like using two hands, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's definitely like making my skin clear up better. Like, I don't know what, I don't know. 
I was going to try to truck through this, but it was just making, like, it was starting to affect me, like me, my body, my, you know, it was almost to the point where it was giving me a panic attack. But again, I'm just going to keep stressing that this is not a bashing video. I'm just putting my experience out there with this brand. That's kind of my fault too, because I probably should have done a patch test. But like I said, I've used benzoyl peroxide before. I don't know what ingredient in here is causing me to um, have a reaction. Um, I'll have to look into that so that way I know. But um, I guess that was kind of my fault. But like I said, like the first two, three days was fine. But like I think like halfway, like the end of the third day, I started feeling like the symptoms on my skin. And then like... I kept using it and it progressed. So um, I was using this, the treatment and actually was I using? Yeah, I was using the treatment and the cleanser twice a day because that's what it says to use AM and PM. So that's what I was, that's how many times I was using it. I'm just going to keep saying this is no hate, no bashing towards smack me at all. I just want to put out my experience on this platform. If you're not sure how your skin's gonna work with benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid, blah, blah, uh, make sure to do a patch test because I probably should have done that, but you know, I thought that I knew my skin pretty well and I guess I didn't, so that was just my fault for not doing the patch test, but really who does patch tests? I honestly don't do patch tests. So again, I feel like it's probably my fault, but I was just kind of trusting my skin, so I don't want to say the product is bad, it's just my skin reacted with the ingredients not in a very good way, so anyways, yeah, that is it for this video, um, be sure to subscribe if you're not already, have a blessed day, and I will see you guys in my next video, bye.